Y'all, good Sunday afternoon. Come on in. Hope you're having a God bless Sunday so far. It's time to cook Sunday dinner. And plus, it's even more special than that because it's Tanya's birthday, the big 5 -0. My baby girl is catching up with me, y'all. Now, as I told y'all, we have five people who have birthdays in September. However, we're not celebrating everybody this weekend because Tansy is working. She can't be here. So, what I've decided to do is go ahead and, you know, we're going to just have Sunday dinner anyway. So, I'm just going to fix a couple of Tanya's favorite things for Sunday dinner today. And then next Sunday, hopefully everybody's going to be able to get together and we'll do Tanya, Tansy, Kareem, Lisa, and Monty's birthday. So I have five to do, and we'll get um, other different dishes for everybody who's got a birthday next week. So what I'm going to do, because this, you know, 50 is a big milestone. That's half a century. My child is a half a century old, and we're going to just celebrate it here. Just she and I, and probably Tony, and I don't know who else is going to be here, whoever comes over. But we do Sunday dinner anyway. We're just going to make a little bit special today. For Tanya, one of her favorite things is quiche. So I'm going to be preparing uh, three different kinds of quiche. And we're just going to load up with quiche. I'm going to be doing some green beans, uh, some sweet and sour meatballs, and cream potatoes, which is one of her favorite things to eat. So I'm getting this show on the road. As you can see, I've got my ingredients laid out. I've got some smoked uh, chicken breast here. I've got mushrooms, onions peppers and I am now sauteing some uh, turkey meat, ground turkey meat. That's going to be one of the meats in there. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I got one other meat that I'm going to be doing. Uh, Rex bought me a bunch of this. This is the best pork, link pork sausage you ever tasted. I love a pork sausage flavor uh, quiche, especially with the mushrooms and onions. So I'm going to take this out, take the sausage out of the casing, and pretty much going to saute it up just like I'm doing this um, ground turkey. And so we're going to have um, chicken, ground turkey, and sausage quiche with veggies. How about that? And then, of course, the sides are going to be green beans, mashed potatoes, and we're going to do the sweet and sour meatballs. So y'all stay tuned, hang around, and I'll let take y'all through each one as I prepare them right now. I'm getting all my ingredients ready for my quiche. I'm going to be using a deep dish pie crust so that they'll be nice and full and meaty. Um, well, what are y'all cooking today? I hope y'all got something good going on on that stove. Hope you got something exciting going on in your life, period. Oh, let me go ahead and throw some seasoning in this uh, ground meat. I'm, I've got to put some, uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder in there and finish that bottle well a little bit more okay so teaspoon of um, garlic powder teaspoon of uh, onion powder okay a teaspoon of course you got it complete seasoning and I've pretty much seasoned all my veggies and the other ingredients with the same seasoning, okay? Y'all know I got to get my curry thing going on some kind of way. So here's what I'm going to put in there. I got my little curry dish here. Okay. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of, um, that's my chicken flavor curry. And this is just, this is my traditional curry powder. I need to get a spoon. You know, I got about containers. And I, I went right to the health food store yesterday. But I think I have some already in my cabinet. But anywho, we're going to put some of my um, traditional masala curry in there. About a half a teaspoon. I can get down there and chew it. I don't want to make a mess. I always make a mess. And when I make a mess, that means I'm losing precious curry powder, y'all. I don't want to lose any. So, which is a good reason why I need to put it in a jar. So, 
What y'all been doing this weekend? Are y'all doing any celebrations today? Okay. We'll stir that up really good. And like I said, this is a uh, ground turkey that I'm sauteing up here. Mmm. Hope y'all continue to pray without ceasing for everybody. We still got things going on that we need to be prayed for. Um, oh yeah, that is awesomely good. Woo! Let's see some perfect girl. I don't want to do it myself. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and get this turkey meat out because this that's the way it should look when you're done with it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Let's turn the heat down until we get ready to use this. And we're going to get the sausage. And like I said, I'm going to take the sausage out of the casing. Um, I think these sausage are from um, a place called Hillside Beef. And I believe the sausage is made by Nahana. You know, we got the pork center of America in North Carolina. So North Carolina is noted for its pork from uh, Nahanta. They make some of the best pork sausage. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to squeeze, get some oil in that pan, just a little bit, just a, well, I can, let me go ahead and pan spray that pan. I always tell you know what I think the pan was the first spray that came out that I remember. Everything that sprays I call it pan. That's it, not pan. It is uh, actually it's members mark. So I'm just gonna take. Let me get my little parry knife. Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here, y'all. I think the, the temperature is down in the 80s or something like that. Or high 70s because it feels good. I don't even have the air on. So what I need is just open that casing up and I'm just going to take all of that um, sausage right out of there because that's the way I need it to go in my quiche. Okay. I could take those skins and um, I think I will. I'm going to throw them in the microwave and see what happens. See, if they, if they crisp up, I'll chop them and put them right on into my uh, quiche. I don't know what they'll do. But anyway, you don't need a lot of that. And uh, I'm just going to put the pork sauce, because this is pork. And, you know, um, money, I don't know if she's going to come back today or not. But anyway, she does not eat meat as such. And she definitely don't eat pork. So... But she'll eat some peach, and I'll just have this one on hand, one on hand with the turkey meat. She does eat turkey meat, she doesn't eat pork, and mainly she don't eat meat, period. She don't even know how to eat turkey on this, you know, rare occasion. So anyway, got all that out of there. So this is enough pork sausage to go in two peaches. I say you don't need a lot. These, um... This is some good sausage. It looks, it needs little to no seasoning. However, since I use um, all of my African seasoning, my Indian seasoning, my masala, since I use that seasoning, and I want you to notice something too about this sausage. If you cannot have uh, pork, you know pork is usually has a lot of grease. If, if you notice. This sausage is so lean that no, notice, I even put a little pan spray. It is just as lean as that ground turkey meat. Absolutely is. So, and it has the best flavor to it. I'm just enhancing it a tiny, tiny little bit. I don't want to uh, compromise the integrity of uh, the sausage. So, let me go ahead here. And it'll be done just it takes about five minutes to saute meat like that so uh, 
I can go ahead and now get my high shelf out of the refrigerator. And all of my meat and my veggies, I'm, I'm going to either run them through the microwave or throw them over here in the skillet to get them heated up. And then I'll get my uh, milk and egg and batter mixture ready for the inside. Of course, I got my cheese. I'm using cheddar cheese and I'm going to be using some uh, mozzarella. Again, hope y'all are having a God blessed Sunday because this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am so excited to see another day. I always say another day's journey, y'all. And also when I do the spring potatoes, they are going to be boxed. Mm-hmm. When I learned how to make box cream potatoes taste better than fresh ones, every once in a while, I might go back to the fresh. That's about ready. Another minute. Yeah. It's about ready, y'all. So, mm, that's wonderful. I need a large bowl. I believe I need 12 eggs for this project, y'all. So what I'm going to go ahead and start doing is cracking my eggs and letting this finish up. And then I'll mix my cheeses together and I'll come back and show you how we're going to put this quiche together. Now this is going to be some of the greatest quiche you ever ate. If you're a quiche lover, notice how simple it is to make quiche. Any ingredients that you decide you want to put in here, you know, of course, cheese is the main thing. And you might decide you don't want cheese. I don't know. Some people, because my sister-in-law, have a sister-in-law that does not do dairy at all. So, quite possibly, she has a recipe that you know, she probably uses, probably a vegetable quiche. There's all kinds of ways to make it. So, let me get done with this, and I'll return in just a few minutes. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got the mushrooms sauteed. Um, got them done. In fact, I sauteed them in a pan, just put them in a skillet with nothing in it, not even oil. I don't want any juice in those mushrooms. So just start them off low and then up that heat to dry the juice up and they'll saute just like that. That's all I needed was them. Okay, got my onions sauteed. These are oven sauteed onions. The, um, uh, Ground turkey is done. The ground sausage is done. So we can put these like right here. We can stack these. Okay. Got my cheeses over there. Getting ready to put. You know, I had some other cheese. I can't think of the name of it. Have you ever tried to use something that didn't want to cooperate, but since it didn't want to come out the package right, I put it right back in. I'm going to think of the name. I couldn't even think of the name of it, so I thought stay away from it. So there's my cheddar. This is four cups of cheddar. And these are my four. I got my four uh, pie shells there, deep dish. These are Pillsbury. They didn't have any food line brand when I went to purchase. So I got uh, Pillsbury. They're, you know, they're the best on the market, supposedly. But food line works just fine when they have them. Okay, so we're just going to undo pie cups. I can have two on deck at a time. Undoing those pie shells. That is my, uh, the last thing I had to do was my peppers and I'm putting some asparagus and some of those multicolored peppers in there for my veggies. So I had to get those uh, sauteed up. So they're ready. I'll get those in just a second. I'm telling you, you can put anything that you want. You can put, um, you can do just, I think, uh, my friend Barb does uh, an asparagus quiche. I think she does. Cheddar cheese and asparagus, yeah. She does. I mean, anything that you can think of that you want to put in a quiche, pretty much, that you like to taste, just do it. It'll work. And, of course, the mainstay in most quiche is the 
you know, the milk and eggs and that mixture, and of course the cheese. I'm gonna let that area cool off there a little bit. While it's cooling. Trivets out there. That can sit on one. And this one can sit on one. I'm going to need somewhere to put my um, eye shells when I start loading. They're going to go right there when I start loading them up. So, the last thing that I've got to do before I start uh, putting these um, quiche together, I need to go ahead and get my mixture done. I'm using 12. Uh, large eggs because I want three eggs per quiche and then I'm using um, what about you how much milk am I using so far I'm just doing two cups of you can use cream heavy whipping cream or just regular homogenized milk and I'm gonna put a half a cup of this is sour cream that I'm putting in now the sour cream about a half a cup of sour cream make it nice and creamy and tangy give it that little taste yum yum i love sour cream okay also i'm gonna have to add me some uh this is you can use flour can pancake flour bisquick whatever you want to use i'm using about a fourth of a cup of bisquick in mine that's what i happen to have on hand and what I'm going to do, I'm going to just mix, you know, mix it up like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the, uh, put it onto my blender there. And then get it just as nice and thin and smooth and silky so that when it bakes up, it'll be nice and creamy like. Okay. So now we're going to do a teaspoon of onion powder in there, of course. That should be a teaspoon. A uh, teaspoon of garlic. Even, that was garlic. This is onion. Onion. Remember, you have to season everything independently. Okay. Complete. Hold, give, give me the rest of my complete, please. Okay. Stir, stir, stir. This is why I could need some more milk. I'm going to put another cup of milk. So we're going to take three cups of milk. My other cup of milk. So that's three cups of milk, 12 eggs. Teaspoon each of those seasoned, bell, I'm sorry, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and complete seasoning. And a fourth of a cup of uh, either flour or biscuit, either one will do. Because you want it about like, like, like that. Okay. Now, get my little old, that's my nice little new wire twist that I purchased from Bed Bath and Young. You know, they're going out of business. And I needed a wire twist because the babies had beat my wire twist into oblivion, y'all. Okay, I'm back now. And what I'm going to do now, well, let me get my peppers and onions out. Peppers, onions, and a little bit of asparagus. Just a little bit of sprinkle. Not a lot because I don't want it to get too peppery and too. You know what I'm saying? These are flavor enhancers. Okay. Now, I'm going to start pouring up my. Um, let me do something with this. Hang on, y'all. I need to um, go ahead and start pouring my mixture into my mix. I wish I had um, like one of those large mixers. 
I got some creamy Swiss cheese slices. I, I love Swiss cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple of those slices in there. I just love the more cheese, y'all, the merrier for me. And I know Tanya is a cheese lover. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. We're gonna, we're gonna up the ante on this deal. Up the ante on here. Okay, that's four slices. And I'm going to be putting some of, um, I'll mix some of my mozzarella in there as well. Okay, here we go. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just start pouring up um, cups full of my mixture so I can go ahead and get it whipped up into my uh, blender. Okay, grab your spoon, Peggy. Got one of my different, my big different spoons here. Can't put it all in at one time. I could do it with a blender, but I don't want to pull that. Uh, we got time, y'all. So, and I'll just do this back and forth. This will take me about three times to get this blended together to where I want to. I get it to the consistency that I want it at. Okay. Okay. All right. So as soon as we get this all blended up, we'll return. Well. Okay, y'all. I've got my mixture all done. Um, this is, I think, what is that? Eight cups. Anyway, this is about. This is where you want it to pour. Just nice, smooth, and velvety like that. So I'll just pour me. Up a cup in that particular cup and let it go ahead and be what I'm going to use to start putting these quiches together. So the first two quiches that I put together will have everything over here. So what you do is you decide what you want to put in. Uh, if you know certain people don't like certain things, I know Corrine does not like mushrooms, so I make sure I make a quiche with everything except mushrooms. Okay, then I know uh, I need to make one that does not have the pork in it because Tony's not supposed to eat pork. So you don't have to sort of be thinking on your feet. It's it's easy dish to make, but when you're making multiple, uh, making it for multiple palates or people, however you want to say it, then you have to keep certain things in mind. So what I'm going to do, and as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, it doesn't really matter, you know, which, which ingredient you start with. Uh, I'm going, I've got my oven preheating at 375 right now so we'll see some days my oven did your oven ever just switch up on it seem like some days it'll cook a little bit faster than others i guess it has something to do with the climate or whatever so i don't know what the climate is today but we're going to start those this one out on 375 so to get nice and hot and get them in there get them baked up and um sometimes i will go so far as to put oil around here so my edges won't brown so fast yeah at 350 375 i should be good i'm going to purchase some of those little things one of these days uh, just to protect it and let's see what happens okay so here we go i'm going to go ahead and start with uh since i'm going to be putting everything into this particular quiche i can start with the chicken i can start with the meat the veggies and just alternate back and forth and go ahead uh, and get it done. So let's see my tongs. I'm gonna see if the tongs are gonna serve my purpose. So we can put some chicken in here. So we got, like I said, we, uh, we got four quiches going on. So we need four little because this chicken has got to go in all four of them. So we're gonna put a little bit. And, and you don't need to pile a lot of any one thing simply because you're going to have all these different meats in there you just want some of each thing in there uh, you don't want it too bulky and too full but you want it full enough okay all right so we just go ahead and start filling these and we i'm just going to do both of them like so okay like i said i, know I don't want those chunks to be too big either. so if the chunks are get too big or too thick looking okay there we go 
And I'll show you why when we get everything else in here. Uh, okay. Let's put another couple pieces in there. And I think that's enough. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the next item is going to be the sausage. So now these pork sausage is going to go into three of these. One of them is just only going to be the ground beef and the uh, ground. I'm sorry, ground turkey and ground in uh, in this chicken. So this one here, we're going to put sausage. This is sausage, y'all. Like I said, that one particular one. Okay, this is going to be sausage, no mushrooms. Okay, and this will be the one likely that Kareem will eat out of. Okay, that's why you got to make everything good and tasty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go in with some onions. Start putting some onions in there. Notice how this is filling up because remember, you still got to put in your. Um, your mixture's got to go in here. Okay. Got plenty of onions. I always make sure I have plenty, plenty, plenty of onion on them. Okay, Tanya loves onions. Okay, yeah. So these are the two that are just absolutely loaded with everything but the kitchen sink, y'all. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead now. And I'm gonna put some. Let's let's go ahead and do some ground turkey. Okay. Load it up with ground. See what I'm saying about the ingredients. And see one of the things about sausage, the sausage is strong. Okay. And we're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth like that until we get them filled up. So I'll be right back when I get ready to fill them up. Okay, y'all, now I'm putting the cheese in. I got so carried away with all those other ingredients, I forgot to start putting the cheese. So what I'm having to do this, this is one of those uh, situations where you have to go back and do a correction. Okay, I'm doing a correction. I want that cheese in between all, so just lift it up and put it right in between where you want it, okay? No big deal. And also, the other thing I didn't tell you is when you put your okay. About got all my cheese in there. Like I said, if you forget to put it in there, just go back and lift it up. Uh, however you want to lift it up. And then the last thing that's going to go on there is going to be my veggies. Like, well, it won't be the last thing, but the next thing. Just put some veggies on there and spread them around like so. Okay. Remember, these are just to garnish. And then we're going to put another layer of cheese on there. Just a little bit more cheese. And we'll pour in our mixture. Okay. And this is cheddar and mozzarella, y'all. Okay. We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. This uh, is going to be so loaded. Okay. I can't wait to bake these. I'm ready to get a slice of these. So this is how you make quiche. Like I say, whatever you want to put. If you want tomatoes, you can even put tomatoes on here. And um, here we go right here. I'm sort of get that down in there like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that mixture right on there. Got to have that mixture and just pour it around on there so to get through. So that was enough pretty much for two. I got to pour a little more because I do need a little bit more than that. Okay. And we're going to start baking them at 375, y'all, for about 45 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Okay, and we'll be right back. So we got our first two ready to go into the oven, y'all. Here
Okay, y'all. Okay, found my lifting onion soup mix, y'all. So I'm not gonna put the whole pack. Y'all know these little packets here. I don't think I'm gonna put the whole pack. But what this will do will help to blend out um, and just give it a little bit more flavor. And by the way, this is not the Lipton. This is the Food Line brand, y'all. So you want to get that stirred around in there. And I want you to bring them to a boil. Just bring, let them boil for about 10, 12 minutes, 15 minutes. And let everything boil up into there. And you got yourself something good on your hands, y'all. Okay. So that's our sweet and sour meatball. So that's about a half a pack of that lifting on your soup mix or the, um, I think Food Line calls it. Let's see. Food Line brand is recipe soup and, and um, recipe soup and dill mix. And it's the onion. The onion. Okay. So we're just going to let those go ahead and boil. I got my water on. I'm sorry, my milk on over here. The last thing I'm going to do is those, um, Yep, box cream potatoes, sure am. Uh huh. I know how to do them. I'm gonna show y'all what to do with these here shortly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a fast cleanup. Get ready for these kids when they roll in here and jump off that flavor train and be ready to eat. And I will be right back. So don't go nowhere, please. Just go ahead on and finish up whatever you're doing so we can sit down at the same time. Okay, y'all, dinner is ready. Let's get these potatoes going and we're done. Save those for last because it only takes like five minutes. So while I'm mixing, I'll tell you what I got in here. I got four cups of water. I'm sorry, I didn't mean water. I meant to say milk. Four cups of milk. Stick and a half of butter. Um, teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoon of onion powder. Half teaspoon of complete seasoning. Some, um, oh, a fourth of a cup of um, sour cream. And all you have to do is make your potatoes according to the box directions and add all those other things to it. So I think, you know, normally you just put butter and um, salt and pepper. But I add all those things. So you put anything you want to put in there. Uh, I'm going to fix these Tanya style. She likes hers thick. So they're doing nice and thick. We got all that goodness in there. And we're going to throw a little bit of cheese. Just to oomph them up a little bit. And as you see, once you uh, get everything mixed in and stop stirring, they start to thicken. So the other thing that we would do to them is just, like I say, put that uh, cheese in there. Okay, I got a little bit of cheddar, a little bit of better cheddar that I'm just going to throw. It's not even a lot of cheddar. Normally, I put a cup of cheddar, but since I don't have a cup, remember, y'all, I made the uh, quiche with the cheese. So, we're going to have to make do. Let's get those potatoes nice and fluffy. Wow, that's good. And just keep whip, whip, whipping until they get nice and fluffy like you want them. And then just set them off to the side and let them sit for a little while and then drop another clump of butter right in the middle of them and you're done. You got cream potatoes to me that taste better than fresh potatoes, y'all. I'm not peeling potatoes for that purpose anymore. <laughs> so hold on. Everything's ready and we're just going to show you what everything is. Okay, y'all. Dinner is ready. Those are the sweet and sour grape jelly meatballs with a dash of uh, barbecue sauce just to set it off it's nice and tangy and they are good they have cooked and that sauce is all the way through so honey we don't have to wait till tomorrow for them to taste like they ultimately taste they are ready today on the back burner over there is those idahoan um boxed cream potatoes some uh whole green beans with carrots and onions and there are my four quiche um uh, these two I'm calling back here 
load these are loaded i got them labeled back there those are the loaded quiche this quiche here is uh loaded however it does not have any of that pork sausage in it it's just the quiche and all the veggies and of course across there the mushroom and that one there is loaded however i left out the mushrooms because guess what Kareem don't like mushroom how can you believe that so anyway i got something for everybody that wants a little slice of quiche that don't like certain things so here we go y'all we get ready to sit back relax and enjoy this meal um today is tanya's birthday of course so it's, we're not doing the big birthday bash for this sunday dinner and we're still saying happy birthday to tanya i already sang the song if you are uh, want an encore just let me hear you say yes oh you did okay happy birthday to you can happy i happy birthday, birthday to you happy birthday dear tanya happy birthday to you and you know i have to say the corny oh yes you know i have to say the corny thing nifty nifty tanya's 50. <laughs> i couldn't resist so this is her beautiful cake she's she tanned this thing on my stomach hmm. what i'm 50 this summer i'm getting started next I'm time let me, let, me, let, me, let me i ain't messing with you i ain't messing with you i asked you you saying that and they're gonna be we got, can somebody else say birthday girl all right this is the beautiful chocolate cake and guess what she picked her own cake then she pick a pretty cake it's beautiful we, so of course we're gonna have a big old chunk of that immediately after we finish this dinner so now we just wanted to come in and say let y'all be able to sing happy birthday with us so we're getting ready to sit back and relax and enjoy tanya loves quiche so i went ahead and made quiche she loves cream potatoes so i made them too so next sunday now you have to tune in because everybody's birthday is going to be celebrated who's in september so uh, tanya's going to get a double whammy so anywho y'all thank y'all for tuning in keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down Continue to pray without ceasing for all the things that are going on in the world today. Do something good for somebody. Cook you some good food or whatever. And until I cook again, love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Toodaloo.